very good afternoon children hope you all are safe children i am very happy to see that you many of you have sent your homework and you all are trying your best to understand and work out the sums properly still few of you have some doubts in lcm let's learn how to do lcm by division method okay lcm lcm means what what is the abbreviation of lcm least common multiple okay children so now let's learn to find lcm of let us find lcm of 24 and 12 so what is the process or what is the method of finding lcm children first write the numbers in rows 24 12. Okay, write the numbers in rows separated by comma. Now, second step is divide these numbers, any of these numbers, by the smallest prime number. Now, tell me, children, what is the prime number? Prime number is a number which is divisible by one and itself. Okay, so what are the prime numbers? First is two, three, five. Seven, eleven, all these are prime numbers. Okay, so first we'll try to divide any of these numbers by the smallest prime number. Okay, so first smallest prime number is two. Let's take two, right? So two, twelve, sir, twenty-four. Okay, then two, six, sir, twelve. Clear, children? Next, again. Again, two will go here. Two six is twelve, and two three is six. Again, as two is the smallest prime number, still it is how to continue? Two three is six. Three comes down. Why three comes down? Because three is not in two stable. So bring it down as it is. Okay, children. Next, next. Now see, we have three. Okay. So what we will do now? Two cannot divide three. So we will take the next prime number that is your three. Okay, three ones are three. Three ones are three. Now when you get one at the last, stop division. Okay. Now so how to find LCM now? Multiply all these numbers. Okay, children. So LCM will be two into two into Two into three, so two twos are four, four twos are eight, eight threes are twenty-four. So LCM of twenty-four and twelve is twenty-four. Okay, children. Next, again we will take another example. Okay, fifteen and nine. Find the LCM of fifteen and nine. What is the first step, children? Write the numbers in rows separated by comma. Okay, like this. Next, next step is divide any of these number by the smallest prime number. Okay, smallest. So prime numbers are here, right? Next, okay. So which one will go here, children? See, if we try two, two cannot divide fifteen. Neither fifteen, two cannot divide fifteen. No, neither also. So what we will do? We will take three. Fine. So three fives are fifteen. Three threes are nine. Okay, children. Next, again. So again we will take three. Five doesn't comes in three table, right? So bring down five as it is. Then three ones are three. Again what? Again five ones are five. One comes down. So now we should stop division, right? So now LCM of Fifteen and nine is how to do? Multiply all these three. Three into three into five. So three threes are nine. Nine fives are forty-five. So forty-five is the LCM of fifteen and nine. Is it clear, children? Now, as we have already learned how to find LCM, let's see, children, how we are using this LCM method for finding the subtraction of these two. Mixed fraction. Okay, so 
Let us take an example. 8, 1 by 2 minus 3, 5 by 8. Okay. So, what was the first step? First step is to convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. Okay. So, how will you do? 2, 8, 16, 16 plus 1, 17. So, 17 by 2 minus 8, 3 is 24, 24 plus 5, 29, 29 by 8. Then what is the next step, children? Finding the LCM of the denominators. Okay. So, let us say 2 and 8. What is the LCM of 2 and 8? So, 2 goes here. 2 ones are 2. 2 fours are 8. Then again 1 comes down. 2 twos are 4. Okay. Then 2 1 comes down. 2 ones are 2. Okay, children? So, LCM of 2 and 8 is 8. Okay. Next. Write the LCM as it is 8. Now, what is the next step, children? First, you have to check in 2 stable. Where do you find 8? 2, 4, 8. Yes, 2, 4, 8. So, you know, as you are multiplying 4 to the new denominator, you should multiply 4 to the numerator. Okay, children? So, 17 into 4 minus. As minus is here, write the minus sign here. Next, 8, 1, 8. Is it clear? 8 ones are 8. As you are multiplying 1 to the denominator, you should multiply 1 to the numerator 2. So, 29 multiplied with 1. Is it clear to it? Next, 17 fourths are 68. 68 minus 29 ones are 29. Okay? 68 minus 29 by 8. Now, 68 minus 29 gives you 39. So, 39 by 8. Now, in order to convert this improper fraction into a mixed fraction, what you should do? 39 divided by 8. Okay. Now, 8 fourths are 32. Okay. Now, 39 minus 32 is 7. How to represent this children in mixed form children? See children. First, write the divisor as the denominator. Okay. Okay. Next. Next, write the quotient as the whole number. Okay. Next, the reminder comes here. So, 4, 7 by 8. This is your answer. Let's continue with exercise 2.1 children. And the second bit. Okay. Arrange the following in descending order. We have to arrange these three fractions in descending order. Okay. So, what we will do? You can see children, these three fractions are unlike fractions. So, the first step is to convert these unlike fractions to like fraction. In order to do that, what we have to do? We have to find the LCM of these three denominators. So, how to find the LCM of these three? Write the numbers. Write the numbers. Write the denominators separated by comma. Fine. Next. What is the next step? Now, divide this number using the smallest prime number. So, 2 will not go here, children. Right? Because 9, 3, 21 doesn't come in 2 stable. So, the next prime number will be 3. So, let us take 3. 3, 3 is our 9. 3, 1 is our 3. 3, 7 is our 21. The next one is again we will go with 3, right? 3 ones are 3, 1 comes down as it is, 7 comes down as it is. Now after 3, what is left here? 7, right? So again we will, the next prime number will be 7, right? So 7, 1 comes down, 1 comes down, 7 ones are 7. Now let's stop the division, okay? So now LCM will be what children? 3 into 3 into 7. That is 3 3 is a 9. 9 7 is a 63. Is it okay children? Now, first we will convert each one of the fractions to like fraction. Okay? So, first take 2 by 9. Then 2 by 9 multiplied with what? You will get 63 children. 9 7 ja 63. Right? So, what we will do? 9, 7, just 63. As you multiply 7 to the denominator, you should multiply 7 to the numerator. Okay, children? Next. So, 2, 7, just 14. Done. Then, 2 by 3. 
again take the second fraction so what we will do children now 3 multiplied with what you will get 63 21 right so again as you multiply 21 to 3 you should multiply 21 to the numerator 2 so next it will be 42 okay 42 by 63 next the third fraction is 8 by 21. So again, what would you multiply with 21 to get 63? 3, right? 21, 3 is a 63. As you are multiplying 3, 3 to the denominator, you should multiply 3 to the numerator. So 8 multiplied with 3 gives you what? 24 by 63. Now, okay, now you can see all these denominators are same. So, first we will arrange this according to the value of numerator. Fine, So, the first one will be this one. Then, second one will be this one. And third one will be this one. Write the fractions like this. 24, sorry children, 42 by 63. As we are going to arrange them in descending order, we should arrange these like fraction from big to small. Okay. Next. So, this will be greater than 24 by 63 which is greater than 14 by 63. Okay, children. If the fractions are like, how do we arrange? We, the new, uh, numer we will just check the numerators. Okay, so now what is 42 by 63 children? This fraction, right? So write 2 by 3 greater than. Then which is the next fraction? 8 by 21. Then which is the next fraction? 2 by 9. So this is the descending order of these three fractions. Let's move this. Okay, second option. 1 by 5, 3 by 7, then 7 by 10. We have to arrange this in descending order. So, what was the first step? First, we have to, all these are unlike fraction, right? So, we have to convert these fractions to like fraction, right? So, what we will do? First, find the LCM of 5, 7 and 10. So 5, 7 and 10. Okay? So, how we will do this today? See children, we have to start dividing these numbers using a prime number, right? Smallest prime number. See, what we will start? The first smallest prime number we will use as 2, right? So, two, 5 does it comes in 2's table? So, we will bring it down as it is. Next, we will bring the 7 also down as it is. Next, 2, 5, sir, 10. Over children, next. What is the next prime number which can divide any one of these number? So, it will not go with 3, right? The 5. So, 5, 1 is a 5, 7 comes down, 5, 1 is a 5, right? The next prime number will be 7. 7, 1 is, 1 comes down, 7, 1 is a 7, 1 comes down. So, now we will stop this division and multiply these 3 numbers, right? So, LCM of 5, 7 and 10 is 2 multiplied by 5 into 7. So, 2 5s are 10, 10 7s are 70. So, LCM of 5, 7, 10 is 70. So, next is we have to convert these fractions to a common denominator that is 70. So, first one, write this 1 by 5. Now, what will you multiply with 5 to get 70. Tell me what will you multiply with 5 to get 70. So 14 5s are 70 right. So what we will do now as you have multiplied 14 to 5 you should also multiply 14 to the numerator. Okay. So 14 ones are 14. Next 3 by 7. What will you do? 7 into 10 gives you 70 as the denominator, right? So, as you are multiplying 10 to 7, you should multiply 10 to the numerator also, right? So, 3 tens are 30. Then, next one is 7 by 10. 
So the next fraction is 7 by 10. Again, 10 multiplied with 7 gives you 70, right? So you have to multiply 7 to the numerator also. So what will happen? 7 7s are 49, okay? Now arrange these fractions in descending order. So what is the first fraction? This one, second one, this one, third one is this one, right? So 49 by 70 greater than 30 by 70 greater than 14 by 70, okay? Replace these equivalent fractions with your original fractions, okay? So first one is 49 by 70. So what is the fraction? 7 by 10, okay? Therefore, 7 by 10, the 30 by 70 represent what? 3 by 7, right? Next, greater than 1 by 5, okay children? So this is how we arrange these three fractions in descending order. Okay? Did you understand children? Let's solve this third question. What is the question? In a magic square, the sum of the numbers in each row and in each column and along the diagonals is the same. Is this a magic square? Children, we have to check this is a 3 cross 3 magic square, right? So what we have to check? So in a magic square, the sum of the numbers in each row, okay, and each column and each diagonal will be same, right? So what we have to do? We have to find the sum of the fractions in each row and in each column and even in each diagonal we have to check, okay, whether the sum of these three, three fractions are equal or not. So what we will do? First let us find the sum of the fractions row wise. Then we will find the sum of the fractions column wise. Then we will find the sum of the fractions in its diagonal, right? So there will be two diagonals, right? So let us start. solve this children. So what we have to do? See, I have just given a name like row 1, row 2, row 3. Okay. R1 is row 1, R2 is row 2 and R3 is row 3. Let's find the sum of the fraction of row 1. Okay. So row 1 have 4 by 11 plus 9 by 11 plus 2 by 11. So how to do this? So as these three fractions are like, okay. So what we have to do? Simply we add the numerators, right children? So write the denominator as it is 11 and add all the numerators. 4 plus 9 plus 2 gives you 15 by 11, right children? Next, row 2. What is row 2? 3 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 7 by 11, okay? So then again we will take these three fractions. 3 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 7 by 11. So all these three are like fraction. So what we will do? Directly we will write the denominator as it is and we will add all the numerators. 3 plus 5 plus 7. So this also gives you 15 by 11. Okay. Next row 3. So row 3 gives 8 by 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 6 by 11. So here goes 8 by 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 6 by 11. So 8 plus 1 plus 6 by 11 gives you 15 by 11. So row wise all the sum of the fractions are equal. Okay children? So let's see what happens for addition of fraction in common. Okay? So let's see. So now children we will start adding the fractions column wise. Okay? So C1 is the first column, C2 represent the second column and C3 represent the third column. Okay. So first try to add all these three fraction column wise. So let's see C1 gives 4 by 11 plus 3 by 11 plus 8 by 11. So 4 plus 3 plus 8 by 11 gives you 15 by 11. Next column 2 try to add all the fractions column wise. Right? 9 by 11 
plus 5 by 11 plus 1 by 11 gives you 9 plus 5 plus 1 by 11. That is equal to 15 by 11. Next, column 3. So, 2 by 11 plus 7 by 11 plus 6 by 11. That gives you 2 plus 7 plus 6 by 11 is equal to 15 by 11. So, you can see that column wise also we are getting E equal sum. Right? So, C1 also gives you 15 by 11, C2 15 by 11 and even C3 gives 15 by 11. Till now, all the addition of the fractions row wise and column wise all are equal. Let's see what happens when we add these fractions diagonally. Okay? So, diagonally will come here like this children. Okay? So, these three we will take. Let's see. Now children, let's see whether the sum of the fractions diagonally are equal or not. Okay? So, let's take D1 as the first diagonal. Okay? 4 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 6 by 11. I have written here like this. D1 gives you 4 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 6 by 11. That is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 by 11. That is 15 by 11. Next, look at here. The second diagonal. 8 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 2 by 11. That gives you 8 plus 5 plus 2 by 11. So, this also gives you the sum as 15 by 11. So now you can see that the sum of the fractions in row in row wise, sum of the fractions row wise, column wise and even diagonally all gives you 15 by 11. So this is proof that this square, this magic square, this is a magic square. Okay. Let us solve fourth question of exercise 2.1. A rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 cm long and 10 2 by 3 cm wide. Find its perimeter. Children, let's see. So, there is a rectangular sheet whose length is 12 1 by 2 cm and breadth is 10 2 by 3 cm. So, these are the given length and breadth. So, in order to find perimeter of a rectangle, so what we should do children? Perimeter of rectangle is equal to the sum of lengths of all the sides of a figure. Right. So, what is the formula to find perimeter of a rectangle children? Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Right. So, similarly here what we will do? We will find the perimeter of this rectangular sheet. So, first given is length is 12 1 by 2 cm. Width is 10 2 by 3 cm, right? So, in order to find the perimeter of a rectangle, what we should do? 2 into length plus breadth. Okay, children? Next. So, what we should do? Next, 2 into 12, 1 by 2 plus 10, 2 by 3. Okay? So now let us find the perimeter of the rectangular sheet. Okay. So 2 into length plus breadth. So write 2 into what is the length of the rectangular sheet children? 12 1 by 2. And what is the width or breadth? 10 2 by 3. Now how to do this? Now first thing children what to do? First convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. Okay. So 2 12 are 24. 24 plus 1 25. This is how we convert a mixed fraction to improper fraction, right children? Next, 25 by 2 plus 10, 3, 3 10s are 30, 30 plus 2, 32, 32 by 3. Done children? Next, after this what we should do? We should find the LCM of the denominators, right? LCM of 2 and 3, fine. How to do? 2 1s are 2, 3 comes down, 3 1s are 1 comes down, 3 1s are 3. So, LCM is equal to 2 into 3 that is 6. So, 2 multiplied with 2. What is LCM? Write the LCM as it is. Next, what we should do? 2 3s are 6. So, 25 into 3. 25 into 3 plus 3 2s are 6. So, as we are multiplying 2 to the denominator, 
we should multiply 2 to the numerator. So, 32 multiplied with 2. Okay? Next, 2 into 25 trees are how much? 75. 75 plus 32 to 64. Okay? Divided by 6. Now, what is the total to them? 2 into 5 plus 4 is 9. 7 plus 6, 13. 139 by 6. Okay? We can cancel, right children? See, 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. Now, our fraction is 139 by 3. As it is an improper fraction, we can convert it into improper fraction. How do we do this? Directly, write this 139 divided by 3, right? So, 3 fourths are 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. 9 comes down. Then 3 6 ja 18. Okay children? Then now, how to represent this? Q R by D. So what is this? This is your Q. This is your R. This is your divisor T. Right? So how we write? Q R by D. 46 1 by 3 centimeter. Okay children? So the perimeter of the rectangular sheet is 46 1 by 3 centimeter. Okay? <clears throat>